here because I've just been dealing with and welcome to the first episode of a new adventure mode series on my channel yes I know it's been about four months since I last posted on here because I've just been dealing with college and finals being a pain so I decided just to take a break and come back to YouTube for a bit so this hopefully will be a weekly series on my channel we will be playing some adventure mode if you have any twists or special things you want me to do in this adventure mode, like APS cannons only, cram cannons, no missiles, no defense systems, no active defense, nothing, just put them down in the comments. We'll be starting off using a boat, and I am going to get started, and then I'll cut back once we have a decent starting craft. I should mention, whoever designed this starting craft, I hate you why make it with like it's just stupid we're coming back here as i'm starting to build the hole here and i was thinking maybe do kind of a Jupiter guard rapier kind of hole like maybe do not rapier but do one with pontoons is what i'm getting at have like the pontoons off the side with some secondaries on them and then have some made like cram guns on the main craft probably gonna keep do uh, yeah yeah i like that idea let's do that Kind of have an early, like, pirate theme, if you get what I mean. We're going to have a, um... <clears throat> it's also going to be pretty cheap, because we're going to use mostly wood and maybe some elements of metal, and then it's just going to be the weapon costs, so we won't have very much in terms of armor costs. Which is nice. I'm trying to think of how pointed I want these holes, though. Maybe have metal, like, spines running up and down. Um, maybe do something like that. And then... Get this. And then maybe do this. And yeah, come back once I have some progress on this. So, I'm kind of torn between the idea of trying to blend the holes together like this, versus the poles right here. <clears throat> I'm torn... Hmm. I think I'm actually going to go with trying to merge them together like this. And maybe do some superstructure work. I think that could work. Then we do a transition right here. Yeah, I like that more. Let's go with that. We come back to an enemy on the horizon. <clears throat> As a frantic chicken. That is something I am going to want to run from. Because those missiles, although it is very fragile, hurt a lot. And the propeller is not far enough in the water. And I built the craft backwards. Oh, this might be an issue. Oh, no. Uh, it's an issue for future me to solve. Oh, my God. This could be slightly problematic as I believe the frantic chicken has missiles and APS guns. Very quickly fly over to it. It would have yes, it would have missiles and a Ford one forward facing APS gun. No, three. Two eyes and one. Um You know what? I'm going to just uh do a quick little thing. I normally don't use EMP due to surely how cheesy it is, but I'll make an exception in this case. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, 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 here. Increase the thrust output. And... Yeah. This 
should hit the target. 16.4 second lifetime, traveling almost 250 meters a second? And... That's an AI dead. As I said, EMP, even on Deepwater Minecraft, like the frantic chicken, is extremely cheesy. And it looks like it's going to turn nighttime, and we're going to get some waves. How fun. But what I'm going to do is reshape this into look like the end, the rear, and then I'm going to make shape this into looking like the front. So I'm basically just going to reform it. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but eh. Oh well. So I'm not able to capture it. However, it is over here. That is 7,000 free resources. That's going to be a thumbnail. With that, the racer zone is depleted, and we are going to be heading on to grab the resource from the frantic chicken and deal with what looks like to be a Jacob's Folly? Or is it a walrus? It is a walrus. We will... Sorry for the awkward cut, but we will place two little missile turrets on the side here as secondaries. This one there. Looks like we actually don't have the materials, so I guess we're going to have one uneven one. But missiles. Target is two and a half kilometers. One hits, that one hits, doing no significant damage. I'm tempted to add PIDs just so I can control the pitch so the propeller works better. We also need to add some ammo. We'll actually add the ammo in the pontoons. Since they're not going to kill everything I know and love. If they get hit, so I'm gonna add the ammo there, and then we're gonna encase it in metal. But yeah, if you guys have any honor rules in the comments you want me to do, just put them down there, and we'll do. Them. Probably, unless they're idiotic, like no weapons, then obviously I'm just gonna not do that because an adventure mode without weapons, period, is kind of well boring. And that's the first flip of the series, and hopefully the last. But, um... We're just gonna do the old, good old lead pole strategy. That's not gonna work, is it? Hmm. I wonder if this will work. Hmm. It would, would seem I have made myself too buoyant. Blue black. I'll do. Hmm. And, oh, Jesus Christ, that's close. Oh, Jesus. Uh, cram, please no. Crams, early game, are terrifying due to the fact if they so much as even get close to your Hearthstone, they just... It's not exactly pretty. They, they're they not very friendly, I will say. Three turrets. And hopefully you should hit the ammo stores and they'll be low health. And that is the walrus down. Looks like we have one other enemy directly behind us to the east. And it would be, if I can find it, a rat. Oh, it's a martyr, actually. White players. Suicider. Uh, how many materials we get from this? Purple. So we get 30,000 materials. That's quite a lot to work with. 
So I'm going to decide what main armor I'm going to build. Probably going to be a let's do an APS gun. We'll do an APS gun probably around 200 to 300 millimeters. Two meter shells probably. And we'll get in a couple fights and then that'll be another episode. We return back for probably the final fight of the episode. We will add some more resource storage and then we will kill whatever has been bombarding us while I was building my stupid gun. Which would be the Telemachus. I need to set this. So, so the gun is 236 millimeters. Uh, using 2 meter shells, it's using AP frag, so pure kinetic, and has an auto loader limit of 21. And a total fire rate of 21.2 RPM. Something just hit us with a ram gun. That wasn't very nice. I believe that's what's shooting us over there. I don't know why the audio in this game is busted. For sometimes it just doesn't register it when the shell fires. This is a Vanguard, I believe. Those are confirmed hits right there. The reflection's a little bright. I'm going to have to change that in the future. There go the missiles along the water. Ooh, there goes the Vanguard. We actually have some aircraft. We got a Falkenheim. There's one wing. We'll fire the missiles. We could use the gun to take out the birds or the dusters. These. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I feel like high explosive would be probably be better for this as a current due to the fact it's a wooden duster. And we actually can't, the right angle fire isn't there because. Actual controller. Ow, that actually hurt. And they say I did. Never mind. Oh, see, right there, it didn't f play the sound. It didn't play the sound right there. I don't know. This game's audio seems a little bit bugged right now, at least in my terms. At least when I've played it. This is in beta test, if anyone's wondering. So, so what is firing on us now? Is that a Marauder? We're going to end off the episode by killing a Marauder, huh? Alright. Well, you're going to go after the Falcon Hunt. You know what? Yeah, let's do the Falcon Hunt. Then we'll call the episode. I will cut back when we're actually in engaging distance with the Falcon. I say called back because I thought it was a Discord call. Point is, Falconheim's dead. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna call it here. We got pretty far. Total craft cost 21k. I'm gonna go pick up the resources of the Falconheim off camera, and then I'm gonna save progress, and that's gonna be it. And then we'll come back next episode, and hopefully we'll upgrade the craft entirely or deck out this craft fully in metal. Hey, using the handy dandy retrofit armor refit tool because thank god they added this and made adventure much so much easier as long as being able to press tab with third person you still only have the this one the one that doesn't follow the craft and you do like some cheat code which is build mode f3 f3 build mode to get into this camera thankfully they fixed that you could just not please that's gonna hit or not. Poor Marauder. Yeah, we're gonna call the episode there. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for, again, not uploading in four months. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.